Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about accessing and navigating the It's Learning platform. For teachers and students, It's Learning is a quick access tile from the HCPS start screen. Notice that once I access Chrome or Internet Explorer, I'm instantly navigated to start.hcps.org. Then I have my quick access tiles and It's Learning is one of those tiles. Once I select the It's Learning tile, I'm instantly passed through to my It's Learning um, access. And you can see that I'm logged in here because um, it knows me based on my computer login. Across the top we have what we call the It's Learning global menu and it's this black bar across the top. So I'm instantly dropped to what eventually will be our HCPS um, dashboard which will contain information pertinent to all members of the HCPS community. Next I have my courses tab. This will show all of the courses that I'm enrolled in either as a teacher or as a student. Next I have my groups, my calendar, the library where I can access resources that have been shared to the HCPS library, my school library, or that I have shared to my own content library. Next, we also have the apps and tools page. This is one of our newer options um, that has been activated close to the end of last school year. And when I select this link, it takes me to some of our um, single sign-on resources, so you'll notice that a lot of these are also tiles from the main um, HCPS start screen from when I'm internal access, but this would be a great way to um, be able to access our HCPS instructional resources if we're outside of the school building or off the HCPS network. As long as we can get to harford.itslearning.com, we have our apps and tools here, which then we can link out to our other um, HCPS single sign-on options even off of the network. Um, so those are some um, just some tips that you might want to share um, with your teacher friends or that you might want to share with your students or just keep in the back of your mind as far as um, being able to access our countywide resources off of the network. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into my courses. So I'm going to come over to my courses tab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to all courses um, and what you can see from all courses. Now, obviously, in my role as a system wide administrator, I have administrative access to many of the courses. But when you go to your courses list, what you can notice um, down the left hand side, these are your course titles. And then what you can see over on the far right is what your role is within that specific course. So any role um, or any course that you have the role of a student is probably a professional development course where you are interacting with that course content um, as a student um, within that. So that would kind of be in that learning management sense that you would be accessing that course and participating within that course. You also are going to see um, courses in which you're enrolled as a teacher. So for most of you, if not all of you, that's going to be your courses um, that are those countywide uh, courses that you're teaching. You're the teacher. You have students enrolled in them. And you have content coming from your curricular office. Um, and that is where you are going to be um, working from your teacher perspective and providing content for your students. So I'm actually going to jump into um, a teacher course um, so that you can see some more of the options of what happens once um, you're in your course. Now obviously this is um, an 11th grade US history course that I've jumped into and what you can see is now not only do I have this black global navigation ribbon, I also now have my course navigation ribbon. So here I can say that I'm in a US history course um, and here is the teacher name at the end and so this is how I know that I have gotten into a course that would be specific to me. Um, and so any of the changes that I'm going to make in here are going to be unique to me and my students. Um, so I'm not accessing and I'm not messing with any of the countywide resources because I know with a teacher last name here at the end that it is really just a teacher course. 
So this course has been set with um, this page as the home page, and this came from the curricular office. I could jump into another course um, here where that home page has not been set. And so what you can see um, is what the students would see, where I as the teacher could provide bulletins, I could provide links, I could provide resources. It shows me my follow-up tasks. So from the teacher side of things, this would be, hey, I need to grade this assignment or the student has turned that assignment in, from the student perspective, it would show them any upcoming assignments um, or upcoming events that they have um, for this particular course. Um, if I jump over into the resources, this is the folder structure of what we see here in the plans. And really, we like to look at um, our plans and our lesson or experience or topic resources within this planner view. So within the planner, then, what I can say is I want to change my drop down to all so that I can see all of the curricular units that my content area has provided for me. So as I scroll down, I can see all of the different units that I'm going to cover um, during the year in American government. If I scroll up to the top, I can isolate specific units. Like let's just say it's the beginning of the year. I'm only going to be focusing on unit one right now. And so I could just select by topic. And now I'm um, zeroed in on just unit one. So as I scroll down now my specific experiences pop down but as I get to the bottom I, I'm not shown anything after unit one. Um, the next one, um, the next tab over is your follow up and reports. So as your students are working through assignments, um, you have some options here. You do have an integrated grade book um, where their assignments will automatically be populated. But at this time, um, we're still going to be um, referring back to Edline and GradeQuick as far as our um, grading system. And then next, I have my participants. Now, as I look through my participants, um, I am seeing a lot of participants and I'm not going to be teaching all of these students obviously in one course so as I jump over under the more tab so it's kind of hidden and this is something that teachers quite often miss is the ability to uh, filter out by course groups so I can see I teach um, pretty close to 60 students, a little less than that. Um, but those 60 students are then divided out into two different courses. So this is what's specific to what we might see in Edliner Grade Quick to where it's actually filtered out by class period. So the same thing happens here to where my courses are filtered out by um, by student. What that then, or by class period, what that then does is once I click on there, I can actually see all of those students that are um, in that particular class period. I can click on the next one, and again, that shows me the students in that class period. That then becomes um, unique in the sense that if we go into one of our plans where our students are actually submitting an assignment, so if I come over here, um, here is an assignment that has been generated for my students in the student learning experiences column, I can actually see here are all of my students so that's that almost 60 students but I can filter it out by group which allows for me to filter by class period so that I can only I can um, focus in on just one of those class periods um, so those are some of the um, important pieces here. Another piece um, to consider is um, you do also have your settings, which allows for you to set your home page for your course um, to where if you wanted to have a specific course um, or a specific landing page for your students. There's more information in the technical guide about um, doing that. But for, for most of us, we find that the overview page um, is really good for our students because it provides them an overall look um, at important things um, pertaining to your course. And then if we also set a date in the planner, it allows for us to um, provide students with con content quickly accessible for them from the overview page.